So on December 6th, we find out that Lady Gaga got to meet Prince Charles that day. And if you've been following my channel, I talk a lot about the royal family and how they're synced up to a lot of events that go on in the media. Especially last year, all of these sporting events were super connected to the English Civil War, which connects back to Prince Charles here. Because if Queen Elizabeth dies, he will become King Charles III. And the kings during the English Civil War were King Charles I, King Charles II. And just an example of how he's connected real quick, the Carolinas are named after King Charles I, the one in the English Civil War. Last year, we had Clemson lose to Alabama, Clemson from South Carolina. Then we had the Carolina Panthers lose to the Broncos. Then we had North Carolina lose to Villanova. We had the Cleveland Cavaliers beat the Golden State Warriors. A Cavalier is a follower of King Charles during the English Civil War. We had Coastal Carolina win the College World Series. So all super synced up to this English Civil War, King Charles type stuff. The reason that I know that this story is connected to Super Bowl 51 is because Lady Gaga, remember, is going to be performing the halftime show at Super Bowl 51. Her birthday, her 31st birthday even comes 51 days after Super Bowl 51. Anyway, let's look at some of the reasons, uh, more reasons why I know that it's connected to the Super Bowl this year. In Gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into letters, numbers into words, that is used by the Zionists and the Freemasons and the people alike who control all of the propaganda that is placed in front of us every day. They control the media, they control the sports leagues, they control the movie industry, the, the TV shows, everything. They use this system and they, they do it every single day. They highlight certain things in the media that are coded to whatever's going on in the story or whatever they're trying to do with it. So. Check, I'll leave a link in the description, How to Gematria. Check that video out. You'll understand more of what I'm talking about. Anyway, Prince Charles, if you write his name out in Gematria, it equals 131. This happened, I believe, in London. Yeah, London, England, that equals 131. London is even located on the 51st parallel, 0 degrees west, 51 degrees north. We're going into Super Bowl 51. Super Bowl in Gematria equals 131, just like Prince Charles, just like London, England, just like the word championship. And another interesting thing in regards to the Super Bowl this year, it's on 2-5, February 5th. This story, December 12th, is the day that leaves 25 days in the year. And Lady Gaga just came out with a new album called Joanne that was released on 1021, and if you go to Prince Charles's birthday, a span of 25 days, you know, reminding us of 2-5, a lot like the day of the Super Bowl. But anyway, the Super Bowl being on 2-5, most likely, depending on whatever time the Super Bowl begins, most of the Super Bowl, or at least the Super Bowl, will come to an end on February 6th in the UK, because it's six hours ahead of Houston time, that's where the Super Bowl is going to be held. February 6th is a very special day to the royal family because that's the day that Queen Elizabeth became the queen at the age of 25 in the year 52. The reflection, 25, 52. So the Super Bowl will come to an end on her 65th anniversary being the queen. Prince and Gematria equals 65. If you write out Prince of Wales, which... King Char or Prince Charles is, that equals 65 in Gematria. And, you know, remember earlier in this year, on the 112th day of the year, we had the death of Prince, the singer. He died on Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday. The 112th day of the year, the Simpsons even killed him off on 11-2 on one of their episodes that came out November 2nd, a lot like 112. If you write out Houston in Gematria, it equals 112. Prince also, well, his death was connected to the a moon, moon symbolism, because the Simpsons killed him off with Neil Armstrong, the first guy to walk on the moon. Prince died on the night of a full moon. 
Think about Houston in regards to the moon and space. Houston, do we have a problem? The Colts owner, Jim Irsay, even bought Prince's yellow cloud guitar. Jim Irsay's birthday is June 13th, 613. The 112th prime number, 613. The last time that the Colts won the Super Bowl, Prince performed at the halftime show. A lot of this stuff seems to connect back to the Colts, and I will get to that. It also connects to the Cowboys a whole lot. I'll get to that as we move along, and I, I'm i starting to think that we might get a rematch of the Cowboys versus the Colts, a lot like Super Bowl V in the year 1971, and... It makes sense. The Cowboys and the Colts, the CC, and we just had the World Series with Cleveland losing to the Cubs, the CC. Also, the year of Deflate Gate. Remember, the Cowboys got screwed over against the Packers. The Cowboys should have been in the Super Bowl, and the Colts supposedly got screwed over from Deflate Gate. You know, so possibly they're just doing some type, setting it up to for some type of revenge type Super Bowl that most people wouldn't even put together. Another thing in regards to the moon was on Prince Charles's birthday this year. We got the closest super moon since the year 1948. A whole bunch of other stuff that goes along with that, but just wanted to repoint it out. Even in regards, I guess, to the royal family theme and Prince and whatnot, think about Whitney Houston and Whitney Houston died at age 48, her daughter's name in Gematria equals 48, and Bobby Brown, her husband, his birthday just so happens to be, his 48th birthday just so happens to be the day of Super Bowl 51. Anyway, Lady Gaga's latest album then, called Joanne, came out on October 21st of 2016. If you go from October 21st, 2016 to Super Bowl 51, it's a span of 107 days. If you write out King Charles in Gematria, it equals 107. And, you know, Prince Charles equals 131, just like Super Bowl, just like London, England Championship. If you write out 131, it equals 107. You see how they're interrelated? The word earthquake also equals 107. I've talked a lot about earthquakes as well. So who knows? I don't think there'll be an earthquake at the Super Bowl, but who knows? The, you know, there's all this stuff with Donald Trump and Batman and how, you know, it sinks up to the, where the stadium collapses with Heinz Ward running the ball and whatnot. But who really knows? Just wanted to throw out that earthquake equals 107 like King Charles as well. Another reason I know that it's connected to Super Bowl 51, Lady Gaga's birthday was March 28th, 2016. And if you go from her birthday to Prince Charles's birthday, it's a span of 231 days. If you write out Super Bowl 51, it equals 231. I know it's Super Bowl LI, but it's also Super Bowl 51. If you write that out, 231, Lady Gaga's birthday, 231 days before Prince Charles. It also says it's 33 weeks, the big number of obsession. Also think about the CCC, the third letter, 33. And also, I mean, it's just special. It's also seven months, 17 days. It's a very special number in regards to Prince Charles and his wives. His wife right now, Princess Camilla, was born on July 17th, 717. 717 of the year 17 was the day the House of Windsor was established. And if Queen Elizabeth dies and Prince Charles becomes King Charles, the House of Windsor will no longer be. It will be the House of Mountbatten Windsor. So just interesting, his wife born on the same day as the House of Windsor that will go away if she becomes the new queen. Camilla and Gematria equals 51, reminding us of Super Bowl 51. Prince Charles's first wife, Princess Diana, who he got divorced to and then she later died in the car crash in Paris or whatever, he was 12 years, 7 months, 17 days older than her, and she was also born on 7-1, July 1st. And also, look, if you include the end date, 
His birthday to her birthday is a span of 231 days, reminding us of Super Bowl 51 again. In regards to 71, so, you know, 7 months, 17 days reminds us a lot of 71 and 17 backwards. Could just be 71, 71. Lady Gaga's real name, Stephanie Germanata, equals 71 in Gematria. Her new album, Joanne, came out on 1021, the day that leaves 71 days in the year. This is also Back to the Future Day. And remember in Back to the Future 3, they go back to 1885, which is 131 years ago, and they use train number 131 to come back to 1985. 1985, of course, the year that the Chicago Bears won, that the Super Bowl last year was super synced up to. The last time the Colts won the Super Bowl, when Prince was at the halftime show, was against the Bears. I also put in here Moses equals 71, the Ten Commandments equals 71, and Moses' brother Aaron died on July 17th, 717. They were super connected to Super Bowl 50 last year. That's why I wrote this in here. I still think it's somehow connected because of the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the death of Sam Fultz that I will try to talk about at the end of this video. But, you know, Nebraska played its bowl game last year, the Foster Farms Bowl, in Levi's Stadium. Moses was in the tribe of Levi. Levi's Stadium was where the 49ers play. That's where Super Bowl 50 was held last year. A whole bunch more going on with it, but... Oh, one, la one another thing in regards to 71 here, and I do bring it up again later, but Princess Diana, born on 7-1, whatever. 71 and 44 are the only two numbers that I know that if you write them out as words, they equal 144. And if you write out Prince Charles's full name, Charles Philip Arthur George, it equals 144. The Super Bowl this year is on a date numerology of 44. So just wanted to point that out before we moved on here. I also noticed that Lady Gaga's birthday was on the 88th day of the year this year because it was a leap year. And then she meets Prince Charles eight months, eight days later. A lot of 88 stuff going on in the media. Trump equals 88. Also, think about Back to the Future. And, you know, you have to go 88 miles per hour for time travel. In regards to March 28th as well, the coach of the Dallas Cowboys, also born on March 28th. So how interesting. You know, he's born on the same day as Lady Gaga, who's going to be performing at the halftime show, who meets Prince Charles, who's synced up to the Super Bowl. It says that Gaga met them at the Royal Variety Performance. If you write that out in Gematria, it equals 138 and also 318. Princess Diana died on August 31st, 31-8. Prince Charles was born on the 318th day of the year in a non-leap year. If you go from his current wife, Camila, you go to her birthday to the Super Bowl, a span of 203 days. The reason that's so interesting is because if you write out 318 as in Gematria, it equals 203. If you write out 203, it equals 80 the small way, like King Charles III, and 188 the big way, like Lady Gaga's real name, and also Bavarian Illuminati. There's a whole bunch of stuff that connects to the Mormon religion as well and, that I'm not going to get into, but... Mormon equals 88. A whole bunch of stuff that was connected to Pope Francis's visit last year that was 188 years after Joseph Smith was allowed to take the golden plates. So after she, or before she meets them, after she meets them, she performs her song, A Million Reasons. A Million Reasons in Gematria equals 68 the small way, just like Prince Charles who just turned 68 years old on November 14th. And if you go from his birthday to Super Bowl 51, it's a span of 83 days this year. The word football equals 83. 83 is all over the, you know, special things in football. Tom Brady born on 
Peyton Manning, born on the 83rd day of the year. Prince Charles, also the oldest person to be next in line to the throne since Sophia of Hanover. And she died at the age of 83. And if you notice, if you go to her, she look what she died. 6, 8 of 17, 14. Her name in Gematria, Sophia, also just so happens to equal 68. Prince Charles equals 68. He just turned 68 years old. So, who knows? Anyway, the whole reason that I've been mentioning the Colts and the Cowboys, I've been talking about it since the death of Sam Fultz. And, I don't know. Possibly it's just connected to something other than that. Possibly it's something for, like, the Vikings or whatever. It just seems the more I keep following, the more stuff I find for the Cowboys versus the Colts rematch a lot like Super Bowl V. So Sam Fultz was the Nebraska punter who died in a car wreck with Mike Sadler of Michigan State. And the player who lived was Colby De La Husse from LSU. And Nebraska won their first championship in the year 1971 over LSU. Nebraska equals 71 to Gematria. They play in the Sea of Red, which reminds us of Moses. And then, of course, you know, Moses is connected to the ram's horn, the age of Aries, and ram in Gematria, ram in English Gematria equals 192, just like NFL, just like Indianapolis Colts. Sam Fultz died in the Foster Farms Bowl, or the last game that he played was the Foster Farms Bowl that was in Levi's Stadium, you know, connected to Moses. Colin Kaepernick, all kinds of stuff connected to him with the Rams as well, and Teddy Bridgewater. If you notice, the 49ers, the only game they've won so far this season was against the Rams. A whole lot more to that. But Indianapolis Colts equals 192, Ram 192, NFL 192. Sam Fultz died. Last game was Foster Farms Bowl that equals 192. We also got the death of... Lawrence Phillips, the ex-Nebraska Cornhusker, on January 13th, 192 days before the death of Sam Fultz. The player who survived in that wreck, Colby Delahousse, equals 192. And the reason that the death of Lawrence Phillips is so synced up is because he died the same day that Obama was in Omaha, Nebraska, at UNO, which is part of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln system. A whole, whole lot more that's going on with it. I'll leave some links in the description. I have a huge playlist of all the stuff that I've covered. It's just too much to re-explain. I mean, I would make a 10-hour video, I think. Anyway, that Nebraska championship was on January 1st, 1971 in the Orange Bowl in Miami. And then it was super connected to Teddy Bridgewater, who was from Miami. And last year he got hurt. Against playing the Rams, LaMarcus Joyner, the guy who he knocked him out or whatever, that guy was also from Miami, the Orange Bowl in Miami. Orange Bowl equals 112 in Gematria. Houston equals 112. Whatever it is, I can't even remember it all. Andrew Luck equals 112. Horseshoe equals 112. Bridgewater equals 112. And... You know, he got knocked out against the Rams, and then this year he tore his Achilles or whatever or whatever it was. can't remember what he hurt, but that happened just before playing the Rams. Sam Fultz died one month, 12 days before Nebraska's first season, or first game of the season. Sam Fultz and Gematria equals 112. They were using, they were using it like crazy, just super connecting the death of Sam Fultz into this. Even if you go from the death of Sam Fultz, if you go from that to Super Bowl 51, it's a span of 197 days, also 6 months, 13 days. 613 is the 112th prime, 197 days. If you write out the word Prince in Jewish Gematria, Prince equals 197. You know... All synced up to Prince. So 17 days after the 1971 college football championship, 
the Colts defeated the Cowboys, and that Super Bowl was also in the Orange Bowl that equals 112 in Super Bowl V, and it was on January 17th of the year 71. A lot like 17, you know, a lot like 117. Also in the UK, they would write it as 17 slash 1 slash 17, you know. So just a lot of 71, 17. If you write out English Civil War in Gematria, it equals 171. And this year, the Super Bowl is going to be in the year 17. Also, it's kind of funny this year, too, Nebraska's bowl game, they're going to be playing Tennessee, which reminds us of the year 1997-98 when they were tied with Michigan for the national championship because they blew out Peyton Manning's Tennessee Volunteers in the Orange Bowl, and Tennessee scored 17 points. And then Peyton Manning, of course, super connected to the Colts, won the Super Bowl last year. If you write out Cornhuskers in Gematria, it equals 151. If you write out Volunteers in Gematria, it equals 151. This year, Michigan's playing Florida State in the Orange Bowl. And Florida State was the team who finished third that year behind Nebraska and Michigan. And, and that in 97, they beat Ohio State. Ohio State equals 112. That's what I talked about a long time ago, how I thought... It was possibly just synced up to Ohio State or Michigan that had connections to 112. Anyway, in regards to 151, Dallas Cowboys also equal 151. There's a lot of symbolism going on with a lot of stuff, like popular stuff as well. So, Pope Francis was 15 years old in the year 51. Queen Elizabeth became queen 51 years, 15 days after Victoria died. Victoria died. Queen Victoria was the longest reigning monarch before Queen Elizabeth surpassed her on 9-9 last year. But anyway, she died on January 22nd of the year 1901, the same year that William McKinley was assassinated in Buffalo. And a whole bunch of stuff connected to the Alton Sterling. Man, you gotta watch my previous videos. It goes, it goes way back. It's super deep. But Pope Francis equals 122, a lot like the day that Victoria died. 1901, Society of Jesus equals 191. That's the Jesuits. Pope Francis, the first Jesuit pope. If you write out Pope Francis in Gematria, Jewish Gematria equals 404. Prince Charles equals 404. If you write out Queen Camilla equals 404. 404 verses in the Book of Revelation. Pope Francis arrived in America last year at 4.04 p.m. In regards to all of that, Jesus Christ also equals 151. And Donald Trump, you know, in regards to Batman and the earthquakes and whatnot, Donald Trump said that he was Batman at the Iowa State Fair. And then that same weekend, we got the death of the guy who dressed up like Batman and went around to whatever, to hospitals. We had the death of Batwoman. There was like... Morgan Freeman's granddaughter died and they showed him at a picture. They showed a picture with him and her at the Batman premiere. All kinds of Batman stuff going on at that time. But Donald Trump is 15 years, 51 days older than Obama. Batman and Gematria equals 51. Just reminds us a lot of, you know, Super Bowl 51. Anyway, hopefully that's making sense. I'm sorry. I've tried to remember a lot of stuff that I've talked about. But anyway, as I was looking up the 1971 or 70 season and the 71 Super Bowl, I noticed that they said that the Dallas Cowboys had a controversy between their quarterbacks, Craig Morton and Roger Staubach. And basically they chose Craig Morton to play blah, blah, blah. It was interesting. I looked this guy up and his birthday just so happens to be February 5th, 1943. So, his his 74th birthday will be on the day of Super Bowl 51. And I went and looked up Roger Staubach. Oh, wow, he was born on February 5th, 1942. So, his 75th birthday will be on the day of Super Bowl 51. Like, what are the odds of that? His name in Gematria equals, last name equals 75. He'll be 75 years old. 
This guy was the 75th pick in the AFL draft. Indianapolis Colts equals 75. Andrew Austin Luck equals 75. And right here, this is an example of why I love getting comments. I got this awesome comment here. I'm not going to read through it all. I'll leave a link to my blog, and you can come and read the blog and read the comment. There's a whole lot of good stuff in here, though. He even is talking about the death of Will Smith, the football player who was born on January or Independence Day 7-4. And he mentions how it's connected in with the death of Muhammad Ali. A lot of good stuff in this in these comments here. One thing that stuck out to me and I never realized was the Colts played in London this year on October 2nd, which just so happened to be their coach, who's, you know, they call him Chuck, but his real name's Charles Pagano. And his birthday was on October 2nd, and the Colts played in London on October 2nd. The Colts scored 27 points in that game, which reminds me of Sam Fultz, the Nebraska football player who wore the number 7. All year there was tributes to the number 27, SF27 27 and whatnot, reminding us of San Francisco as well. But if you go from his death to 10-2, the day the Colts played in London, a span of 71 days, that special number, if you go from 10-2 to the day Lady Gaga met Charles, it's a span of 65 days. The word Prince equals 65. Remember, 71 equals 144, like Prince Charles' real name. Also, if you go from 10-2 to Super Bowl 51, a span of 126 days, you know, Lady Gaga meets Prince Charles on 12 slash 6. The Super Bowl's in NRG Stadium that equals 126. If you go from 10 2 to Prince Charles's 68th birthday, a span of 1 month, 12 days, reminding us of 112 yet again, reminding us of Houston where the Super Bowl's being played. We just had the 112th World Series that came to an end on 11 slash 2. So we'll see. I, th I think that they might be just, you know, maybe it's some type of a revenge Super Bowl they're going to do, and they're going to have the Colts versus the Cowboys again, especially considering the deflate gate stuff coming back up in the, the news, and the Cowboys got screwed over against the Packers the year of deflate gate and whatnot. There's always so much more that could that maybe possibly is being missed. You know, maybe sometimes it seems they really foreshadow a certain team and they're just actually connected to something else that was going on that nobody saw. So possibly there's just something symbolic about this 1971 Super Bowl and they're showing us something completely different and I'm just missing a piece of the puzzle. But right now in my head, it, it just seems like they're really showing us a, a rematch of the Colts Cowboys. And... You know, we'll see how it all plays out. I'll keep following it. Maybe, you know, maybe my opinion will change as we get closer and something comes up that makes me realize that it's connected to something different than what I'm thinking. So, we'll leave it at that. Just wanted to point it out. There's no doubt that Lady Gaga meeting Prince Charles is connected to it. No doubt. I mean, what are the odds that... The two Cowboys quarterbacks board on the same day as the Super Bowl that's going to be held this year. The Cowboys coach board on the same day as Lady Gaga, Prince Charles, super synced up to the Super Bowl. But yeah, we'll leave it at that. If I, had, I feel like I was going to say it's something else. I can't remember what it was. I'll leave a little note if I think about it. But uh, peace.